Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Mirage Part 3. Yeah, good place to hide, but not the right one. Catch up with the four in front. There we go. And I was just quick enough to stop the guard from reacting. If you're out of blend, he would have attacked really quick. Because look at my icons in the bottom right corner. All fully lit up in red. So what we got to do now is follow the caravan leader and do something we couldn't figure out how to do in the last video. And that's when our ghouls lured out, find a way to assassinate him. So that's what we're going to do in this video, hopefully. That guy, what's he doing? He's getting stuck in a haystack and running back. So this is the sort of thing that can ruin your stealth in this game when you get glitches like that. But yeah, hopefully we can do it in this video. He's gone again. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this and let's get back into it. Thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. Word will surely get to the world. Come out and speak, coward. I defy anyone to find better in all the empire. I offer a loyalty discount to all returning customers. All right, so we know where Al Ghul is because he's up on that balcony. Um, the thing is, how do I get to him? This is what I couldn't figure out in the last video. So I got my eagle vision or focus, whatever they call it in this game. Um, there is something gold I can see over there, but I've left it too long now because these guards have come out. So perhaps I should have left before these guards arrived. I can't just go and kill them now. So I think I'm just going to have to slightly move and make a run for it. I should have moved before they came down the stairs, but I didn't. So let's try and head over into that area that I saw a moment ago and see if that is beneficial. Bear in mind this is only a blind playthrough, so I've now been seen, so I've got to move quick. Let's see what happens from here on. This ends now. Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just.
Assassin's Focus. When in conflict, trigger Assassin's Focus with right trigger to execute perfect sequence of assassinations. While the focus is active, select which enemies to target with RB and press A when done. Bastion will perform the assassination sequence automatically. Replenish the focus bar by performing stealth kills in order to be able to use the ability again. Alright, let's try this out. So there's the marker. Yep, mark and mark. And press A. Clear your mind. Al Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects, like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alhul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbeya Bureau when it is settled. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe. Alright, we unlocked another achievement, Blood of a Ghoul, for eliminating Al Ghoul, our first target of the game, and we have a new case unveiled. So along with the first three, the second circle is now complete. Target is eliminated and all clues obtained. So what's this one now? My old home. Could Nihal be back at the hideout? Look for Nihal back home. Okay. So we go back to that little hut we started off in the first video when we learned to thieve and things like that. Three skill points. Assassin's Focus Capacity 1. We can add another chunk to the focus bar. Uh, increase the maximum number of elixirs you can carry. And Enkidu Acuity. Enkidu's perceptions increase making tagging enemies easier. I think with us using the bird quite a lot, we're going to go for this one first. We'll take that. That leaves us one skill point. All the others 
take two so we can't get any more just yet until we acquire some more points so that's all we can do there Ubisoft Connect core challenge complete Ubisoft Connect XP earned all right all right how far away are we from where we need to go we're down here oh my it's right away over there trader that's where we need to get to uh, Taylor, Minardi, cancellation of notoriety for a fee. <coughs> I can't see any fast travel that's going to allow us to fast travel over there from where we are. I don't see anything that's going to help. Historical site, no. We've got a fair few things over here we can do though. A few viewpoints, some are open, some are not. Um, yeah, there's one there, one there, one over to the right, that's the bureau, that's synced, no, we're going to have to just go on the camel. New location discovered. Du Kurigalzu, if I've said that right. made it back back to Anbar this is where it all started before we became an assassin and right here is a viewpoint so why don't we grab that while we're standing right near it then if we need to come back we can just fast travel back see there's a meaning for everything that you do in the game and you can only climb you can't free climb like you did in all the other previous Assassin's Creed's. You can only climb where there's something to grab onto, like these little bits in the brick here. So that makes the climbing a little bit more unique. I don't think we can go any further. So I think we've got to go through the window. Yep. And we've got a chest and other thing to collect in here. Components, leather and steel ingot. There's quite a few things to grab in here actually. Um, here we go back out. I think we've gone the wrong way actually. Need to be on the opposite side to climb round and go up to the top again. Yeah, there we go. The grip points are here, so it takes us further up. Alright, we made it.
points of interest discovered. Alright, so now a bit more of the map has opened up. As you can see here. So the more you do on the viewpoints, the more of the map opens up. So if you were to go around first of all and do every single viewpoint, you could open every area on the map that's previously unexplored. And why am I now being chased? Oh, it's my notoriety. Yeah, I need to bring that down at some point. It's too high at the moment. I am as sorry as you. I have so much to tell you. And I you. We will grant each other an audience. But first, I must know something. What? Why are you dressed like a peasant? Perhaps I have less to tell you than I thought. I think I can surmise what our time apart has been like for you. And you? You have not been living here, I hope. <laughs> Less living, more working. On what? Why do I know this? Because you have seen it. On the object we found at the Winter Palace. I have been trying to remember the specifics of its design. You have spent all this time obsessing over this symbol? Why? Because I too have seen it before. I know not where or when. Only that I have. Whatever it is, it calls to me. I intend to unravel its mystery, and so should you. Ah, but of course. Duty calls. Stop. I will bear it in mind if it means you will spend more time outside these musty walls than you do within. You really do spare a thought for everyone, don't you, Basim? Araki Lahikan. The Order of the Ancients are far from defeated. Master Roshan is certain to have a plan brewing to uproot them. And perhaps I should look into Nihal's obsession. It seems Nihal is trying to discover the location of a secret chamber. Alright, case closed on my old home. A new case has been unveiled. Let's take a look at the inventory. So we got outfit, outfit dyer, sword, dagger, talisman and costume. So this is the initiate of element outfit we're currently wearing. And you get with the deluxe edition some extras i think plus you pick up some in the game as well see we have a couple more there but we'll stick with this one for the moment what's the outfit die i'm interested um 
Now customization that uses Shades of the Desert and the Dunes, the Initiative Element outfit. Let's put that on. And we get an achievement for it. Fashion statement. Apply dye to an outfit. Alright, that was an easy one. So now the sash around the neck and the waist and everything is all turned blue. This is a sword, the sand sword that we've got on. I've got the talisman and the dagger of time. So they're ones that come with the deluxe edition as well with special perks. So yeah, later on um, we'll swap over if anything else becomes better but for now we'll keep everything as it is. Can't do anything on the skills because we've only got one and everything else requires two or more so we have to wait. Um, I'll be a bureau. A first taste of operations in Baghdad. Report to Roshan. So we've got to go back there at some point. What's this? Nihao. My closest friend. Nihao and I share a bond like no other. View details with X. Oh, I like the way they've done that. With the art style water base painting. And you've got the information on the left hand side. That says exactly what we just read. Sorry for any noise if you hear that. I've got the windows open and traffic passes and it carries through. Alright, I think we're um, going to go back to the Bureau then. In Harbia, report to Roshan. Can we fast travel from where we are though? That is the question. There's the Bureau. We can. Alright, let's... Um, Let's do that then. Historical site, fast travel. There we go. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am glad you are safe. Alhamdulillah. A first of many achievements to come, Basim. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on Al Ghul, Fula quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Tebid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to Al Abyssia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on, then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. Alright, unlock a new tool. Here you can unlock new tool, choose it wisely. All tools can be unlocked using skill points. So we've got the blow dart, a silent projectile capable of putting targets to sleep, can be modified to apply poison or cause a fit of rage. I remember in one of the previous Assassin's Creed you could use the blow dart as well. I can't remember which one it was, but you had to have it in order to get some achievements and things like that. But there definitely was the use of one in one of the older games. Smoke bomb, an alchemical vial that releases a thick cloud of smoke that obscures vision. Smoke can be modified for attack or defense. All right. Trap, a non-lethal proximity explosive capable of knocking down enemies for long periods can be made deadly. And what's the last one? Noisemaker, the small explosive that lures guards away from Basim can be turned into a weapon. I think for now the first one we're going to get will be the blow dot. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Serve me well. My thanks, Ahmad. It's Abu Jaf. <laughs> oh, you jest. Every now and again, Araka Lahikan, Abu Jafar. Keep well. And you, Basim. Bureaus available. Multiple hidden one bureaus are now available. Check the investigation menu for details. Okay, let's take a look. The Head of the Order. A clue confirmed the existence of a Head of the Order of the Ancients in Baghdad. Continue your investigation. Unmask the Order members working around the districts of Baghdad to obtain more clues to the Head of the Order's identity. Alright. 
and there it is the big circle in the middle so I'm assuming everything we do in the game all leads to this as the final person we take down bureaus have unlocked on the map Abyssia Bureau is this one here all we've got to do is reach it once we do like we unlocked the other bureau earlier on these will become fast travel points mysterious letter a sword dancer a mercenary pick up the letter and find two clues there's the main man in the middle Raz al Afra, head of the order the mastermind behind the damage the order has wrought so find four clues to unlock that this is the Sharkia Bureau and there is the Kark Bureau alright we've done that already we've been over Ni Hao uh, contracts new contracts are available go to the Bureau to check the board okay so let's go ahead and do this mission that we just saw and um, pick up the letter and find the clues so mark that there we go new rank achieved apprentice and we get the talisman for that as well so let's take a look at that compared to what we've got already into inventory and talismans there we go Apprentice Talisman, awarded to one who attains the rank of Apprentice among the Hidden Ones of Alamut. Hourglass of Time, the talisman shaped like an hourglass, according to legend the such vessel was thought to contain sands that held a fearful power that would wreak havoc if ever unleashed. Let's go ahead and equip the Apprentice Talisman. And there are more spaces, there's 10 there. So you will get ranked up more at certain points. And you'll get extra talismans as well, according to the rank you achieve up until the end of the game, where you're probably the highest that you can be. Let's go ahead and get this viewpoint before we go anywhere else. Best I stay hidden. Oh, <laughs> 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 
citizens. Please note that a hey, musical stop. competition you look familiar. held tomorrow evening at the open Poor likeness. <laughs> Alright, so we've opened up a bit more of the map now from sinking that viewpoint and we're not far away from our objective which is just short of where we are there. So it's not a long way across and the other good thing about sinking these viewpoints is it allows for fast travel. If you're further away and you've got a viewpoint close to you, you can fast travel back to the other viewpoint in another area if it's close to an objective or anything that you're currently doing. I mean members. I should investigate. You know, I think the eunuchs are up to Alright, someone in blue over there 
But how do I get in? There's a ramp there that goes up the wall. Um, where is there a way in? Now I've got to find it. Ah, there we are. An open window. No, not over there. Drop down. Right, climb in. No, for some reason he won't go through the window. I don't know why, because there's like an open space you can get in there. Let's try another way then. Oh, hold on a sec. This is the Bureau. So, do we actually have to go... Let's go into the Bureau and see if it's it's in there then. Yeah, it's in here. Look, right on the desk. A request for help from Murjana, the daughter of Ali Baba, a trader rich beyond measure. What could the daughter of a famed merchant want? It says to meet her outside the gates of Baghdad. Murjana, request for help. Hidden one. My name is Murjana. An old friend by the name of Beshi pointed me towards you. He told me you shadowy figures are trustworthy and I hope you can help me with a delicate and possibly perilous matter regarding my father, Ali Baba. You have no doubt heard his name. Meet me outside the gate south of Baghdad with haste. Majana. Alright, so we've got a mission coming up. A dance with thieves. Find Ali Baba's daughter. She can be found at the south city gate. Alright. Is there anything else in here that we can do before we finish? Oh, what's this over here? A fantastic acquisition, Brother Foulard. While prowling the book markets, I found a copy of the Jamkarat Ash or Al Arab. It includes a very poem, Kab ibn Zayir, recited in front of the Prophet himself. So moved as a Prophet that he wrapped Zayir up in his mantle. Never has a poet been so honoured. You must come over and I shall recite the verses for you and our friends. Yours in the shadows, Tahid. Nice to see you. We've unlocked tools already. Why don't we have a look at upgrading or resetting? If you can improve this in any way. Be my guest. All right, throwing knives. Let's see what we need. Uh, we need more components. All right, and the blowpipe. What does that require? More components as well. So we can't do anything with that yet, and you can't Nothing upgrade else? the torch. Remarkable. My thanks, friend. Goodbye. Okay, so for now, I think that's where we're going to leave it. Actually, before we do, let's get to grips with the contracts board. See what that's all about. There's your contracts. Contracts from Baghdad factions are posted on the board. Completing their requests is a great way to curry favour with them. Learn more about the three factions of Baghdad in the Codex. Accepted contracts can be viewed in detail in the investigation menu. Alright. Oh, so they've all got requirements on them. Don't take any damage. Do not kill anyone. Do not take any damage. Do not take any damage. Remain undetected. Oh, that's good they put those in. Because obviously you'll get a good substantial reward if you complete the contracts with the requirements as well. If you fail, I'm not sure what happens. Maybe you can do them again. But anyway, 
Um, when we come back, we'll be doing Dances with Thieves. We'll find Ali Baba's daughter and then we'll continue on. So I hope you enjoyed everything you've seen so far. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Help support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care of yourself out there in the world and 